A 15-second short video made the revote to bionic hand a viral sensation on social media. In the clip, an amputee controls the bionic hand remotely with their mind. Its lifelike movement feedback and sci-fi worthy control method quickly went viral, turning Revo2 into a hot topic among both China's tech community and people with disabilities. This mechanical hand, which weighs just as much as six eggs, just wowed everyone at the World Artificial Intelligence Conference. It's the Brenko Revo2 Bionic Smart Hand, weighing only 383 grams, it can steadily lift a 20 kilograms bucket of water. With 0.1 millimeters precision at its fingertips, it can even light a match and tell the difference between a ripe and unripe grape. What's even more amazing? No brain surgery needed. Put it on, and in 30 seconds, you can control it with your mind. All five fingers move independently, writing, playing the piano. It's just like using a real hand. Some might say bionic hands aren't new, but after today's deep dive, you'll see it's broken the industry's so-called rule that lightweight design and strong performance can't coexist. First, let's figure out the core of mind control. Back in 2015, when Elon Musk's Neuralink was focusing on invasive brain implants, Dr. Han Bixen from Harvard's Brain Science Center took a different path. Non-invasive neural signal collection. Now Revo2's tech logic is simple but super precise. When you think, grab a cup, your brain sends neural signals to the muscles in your arm. These signals create tiny electrical activity on the skin, so weak, it's a million times weaker than an AA battery. But Revo2's AI algorithm can decode these signals in real time. I checked the data. It can recognize over 10 different hand gesture intentions, and the delay from thought to movement is one-third faster than a blink. We have to talk about a key metric, weight to grip ratio. Revo2 weighs 383 grams, but has a grip force of 50 newtons, which means it can hold a 5 kilograms object steadily. That gives it an industry-leading weight to grip ratio of 52 to 1. For reference, most people only need about 40 newtons of grip force for daily tasks. So lifting heavy things, tightening screws, Revo2 handles it all easily, and it's only 16 centimeters long, about the size of an average woman's hand, so it's comfortable to wear for hours. What surprised me most is its tactile feedback system. Usually, adding tactile functions makes a bionic hand 30% heavier. But Revota uses integrated tech to keep the weight the same while still giving precise feedback. It can feel the texture of fabric, tell how hard or soft an object is, even sense how close something is. Even better, it works with regular waterproof or cut-resistant gloves, and the tactile feedback still works, so it's good for factory assembly or outdoor work. Let's go back to the 100-year history of brain-computer interfaces. Since the first brainwave recording in 1924, most researchers focused on invasive tech, but Brinko chose the harder non-invasive path. As a pioneer in non-invasive brain-computer interfaces, Brinko has achieved some impressive results. Revo2 isn't just a single product anymore. Brinko has opened up a full SDK software development kit to encourage developers around the world to build on it. Imagine future surgical robots using it for minimally invasive operations home service robots using it to cook for the elderly, even robots in space using it for precise experiments. That's the real potential of brain-computer interface tech. One last heartwarming detail. At the 2022 Asian Para Games, the torch was lit using a Brainco bionic hand. From that flame to today's Revo2, this Chinese team incubated at Harvard has spent 10 years proving that the real purpose of tech isn't to show off, it's to let everyone move their hands as they think. If you want to see more new tech and mind experiments, hit subscribe. We'll see you next time.